Hey everyone, my name is your pair of socks, and this is my let's play of Sonic Unleashed. Haven't uploaded any Sonic in a while, so let's jump into the final nighttime stage of Epipotos, which is called Hill Beneath Starry Skies, and this act will be finding illustrations 26, 65, and 67. Let's get started, shall we? Now heading past the giant door frame, we find this open plain along with some very old now ruined structures, but if you go behind this destroyed building, you find your first illustration. Of course they hide it somewhere where the camera can't see them. I'm kind of mixed on how I feel about Sega hiding some of these hidden secrets. Some are very well hidden, while others just abuse the bad camera angles. Although, that's just my opinion. Next hidden illustration is just behind these boxes. We've collected two out of the three of the hidden illustrations in this level, it's not even a minute into the video yet. Now we got some nightmares to deal with, so let's take them out with our new longer combo, shall we? Very nice. Heading behind here, we have some dark Gaia force contained in this capsule, along with these pot plants that house some unleashed force. Now getting back to the main road, looks like we have another dark Gaia gate. Think you could break this wall with a punch, Sonic? I'm sure it's possible. Now the main concept of this level is breakable entrances that allow you into new places. Seeing as we need three dark Gaia keys, we're gonna need to search everywhere we can to find them all. Also on the way, we might find that last hidden illustration. And speaking of finding Dark Gaia keys, we've already found one. Let's see if we can find another one in here. Nope, just some potted plants and a Dark Gaia capsule. Heading over to that building, make a right and there should be a capsule next to these fallen over pillars. And it looks like our progress has come to a halt, seeing as how we have some uninvited guests. Taking care of killer bees won't be so tough, seeing as how we have these boxes to use against them. Alright. Heading around the left side of this wall, we have some pots to destroy, but we are also here for our last illustration. Double jump over this wall to find a very tight space holding a single item, and there you have it. Although you're not out of the woods yet, we still have to find the other two Dark Guy keys, along with searching everywhere to gain as much experience as possible for an S rank. So, let's we'll take the back entrance and see what we can find. Looks like we found some nightmares. Can't have that! And they dropped like fruit flies. After collecting that capsule, let's head back a little bit to find another structure to our right, and we find the second key. Well, that was devilishly placed. The nightmare spawn when you pick up the second key. Clever. Now heading back out into the plains, I make sure that I don't miss any big trails of rings. I felt as though I missed quite a few, so I had to make sure. Seeing as you have to make it to the gold ring in about 8 minutes, I wasn't worried about not making it on time, but I also didn't want to waste your time. And here we have the last dark Gaia key needed to open the gate. Now it's just a smooth run from here on out. Although I'm still a bit worried that I don't have enough rings or Dark Gaia Force. So you will see me running around trying to find places where they would hide Dark Gaia Force. Like in bases, capsules, or any other items. If you are trying to find Dark Gaia Force yourself in an attempt to earn an S rank, it wouldn't hurt if you checked everywhere that was accessible. Although you shouldn't waste too much time looking around. Most of the time you won't need to do any real searching to find enough force. Although if you're in need of some, there's a capsule right behind these pots. And now that we've searched everywhere we can, let's open the gate. Alright, we're coming up to a battle, so put your game face on and let's do this. Those bigger versions of nightmares are called Deep Nightmares. They're in a sense commanding officers, if you want to put it into that term. They have all the little nightmare-like grunts fight first, but once you get rid of them all, they just like to cower in the background. They have a little bit more health than the regular nightmares and are more powerful, but because of their timid AI, they hardly put up much of a fight. This won't take too long.
And that should be it. Now from here on out, it's smooth sailing to the goal ring. <laughs> Just breaking these pots to help further our chance for an S rank. Don't really need to, I guess, but eh, why not? And there's the goal ring. The stage is complete, but the question is, has this guide helped you find the right path to run through to earn yourself an S rank? Yes, it has. I knew that already. If you have any problems getting an S rank in any level, that's the purpose of this walkthrough. Finding all the items, getting all S ranks, and to guide you to become the best that you can be. Now before we head into a cutscene, let's see if we've earned anything new. Looks like it to me, we got the Wear Wallop. Alright, we'll have to try that out, but first, let's jump into this cutscene. Oops, I forgot about this part. <laughs> let's review the stuff we got first. Uh, we got illustrations 26, 65, and 67. We got a tablet fragment. These will become very useful once we find the other half of this. And a new mission. Alright, now let's jump into the cutscene. I'll be right back. Tails? Sonic? What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix <laughs> this, <laughs> and <laughs> fast. About that, I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Oh, really? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. Spagonia. That's a continent over. An easy jog if the planet weren't broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going. Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving. Welcome to your world map. To unite the continents, you must fly to each one of them since they've been split apart, and you must put them back into place. Spagonia has been added to our map, but before we go there, we still have a lot of stuff to do in Apoto, so let's get started on finishing up where we started. Now when you select a continent, you can choose to go to its village, go to the stages, or to its Gaia Gate. For now, let's just go to the stages. And the first extra mission we're going to play is Reach the Goal Unscathed. Alright, the goal here, if it wasn't obvious enough, is to get to the goal ring without getting hit once, so we better get started then. In this mission, you start out with three boosts available to you, and those three are definitely worth it because we're running against this guy again. And it sucks because he can't use my cheap tactics to boost through this whole level by getting hit. We just have to wait until we get some rings. Just because we can't get hit once doesn't mean we can't kill the Interceptor. Just like the first time we went through Act 2 of Apotos, we just have to wait until we get behind it. At the first part of the stage, the best thing to do is keep two boots ready. Then when we get to the second part of the stage, we can use the two we have on the Interceptor. And now's our chance. Before hitting it for a second time, collect as many rings as you can. There's no point in trying to hit it a third time. It goes away before you get the chance. And now we have three boosts available to use again. And now we just wait for the third part of this level, 
then we can get rid of this pest. And here we go. Hmm. I'm feeling a bit of deja vu here. And I have no idea why. <laughs> well, now that the interceptor is gone, we can head for the goal ring with no worries of failing. Use your boosts however you like. Not like there's anything to pressure you into using it for any other means. And... There you go. That wasn't so difficult. And for doing that, you get another moon medal. Alright, next up on our list of things to do is learn how to use the preemptive strike. The wear claws. Let's get started, shall we? And here we are. Now, how to use the wear claw is very simple. While running or walking fast, press the L and R buttons at the same time and you perform a wear claw attack. Let's try on these nightmares. And that's it! These tutorials could not be any more learn and get out the door, can they? Anyway, you earn a sun medal for doing that. And, yeah, on to the next tutorial. Alright, in this tutorial we're going to take flight with the Werewallop. This should be fun, I've always wanted to fly with the birds. Okay, it's time to put our new skills to the test. During a combo, after the second hit, press L and R at the same time to perform a Werewallop. Sounds simple enough. Let's give it a test run on these nightmares. What the? Help me, I'm falling and I can't get up because I'm still falling! <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Anyway, we are rewarded with a sun medal and a nightmare, apparently falling in midair for all time. Oh, that's too funny. Anyway, let's move on. Next, we are going to learn how to use one of the most important skills in this game. We're going to learn how to use the Unleashed mode. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Once the Unleashed gauge is full, press the Y button. Your attacks get way stronger in Unleashed mode, but it only lasts for a little while, so be careful. Like Donut said, it'll only last for a little bit of time, but while you're in Unleashed mode, you can do some serious damage if you know when to use it. Let's try it out for a spin. Very impressive, I'd say. And we earn another Sun Medal. On to the next mission. For the last of the tutorials we're going to be learning right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to string along even bigger combos. And here we are. the move you just learned to keep your attack going. If you can chain your attacks together, you might get an extra bonus. In the end, all this does is extend your combo. Just keep pressing L and R in rhythm to boost your 3-hit combo to a 5-hit combo. Let's try it out, shall we? And for completing this mission, we earn yet another Sun Medal. Let's move on, shall we? Alright, now before we end off the video, I'm going to be showing you guys one last thing. I'm going to be saving these kinds of activities for the very end of this walkthrough, but as a sneak peek at what to expect, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the unlockable rooms inside the Apotos Temple. To unlock these doors, you have to have a certain amount of sun and moon medals. 
Luckily, we have enough for one door. So let's head inside, shall we? Now, if you notice that the second door to our right has started glowing, that means you can now enter that room. Let's see what happens once we head inside. We now turn into a werehog again. The reason why is because we are not in the warm light that filled all of the starting room anymore. Although in most of these challenge-like rooms, they, for the most part, have these little tiny beams of light shooting to the ground from the ceiling. This adds a puzzle-like element to the game involving light and dark, using sonic speed or the werehog's more platformer-type controls. As you can see in these kinds of rooms, you can collect illustrations, music, any kind of hidden items. You can even find extra lives in these rooms. They give you an extra life permanently, so that once you exit the game, it doesn't reset. Even if you die six times and you leave the level you were just in, you get those lives back. They can be pretty helpful. And once you find all the hidden items, it gives you a congrats, you've completed this room message. But now that it's done, I think it's time to end things off here. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Sonic Unleashed will hopefully be uploaded more often. Next time we're going to be heading off to a Spagonia now that we've fully completed everything we can in Apotos. And as always, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Did I seriously just bump into that? <laughs> that was anticlimactic.